Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome to Fishing Planet. All right, we got things going on today. If you have not played this game, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a free-to-play game. Uh, there are premium aspects as well, though. Um, for example, there is a premium shop uh, for premium accounts. So, for example, for a one-year license, which gives you a 50% boost in experience, uh, earned for every fish you catch, you also get a premium wallet with 2,000 credits plus a pack of advanced annual licenses for all states. So what you get is 360 days of a premium license, 2,000 credits, advanced annual licenses pack for 360 days. So what this works out to be is $110 Canadian. So that just gives you, a, just gives you an idea. That's the premium packs and these are the credits. You actually don't need to buy this. This isn't, um, this isn't actually the ultimate way of buying things. Uh, let me give an example. So here you can buy this with money, for example, these types of things. You get these things by, or you get the money, I should say, by catching fish, which is one of the reasons why the stringer is so important, because at the end of the day, you get a amount of money based on how big your stringer is, or you can use one of these, for example. So keep that in mind. So having said that, let's go ahead and show you what I got. So right now I have a denim vest, I don't have a hat, I don't have a case. Uh, I'm using this type of setup, a float, hook, and red worms. I also have a float, a hook, and some bread. And you have a carrying case as well, which allows you to carry two cases, or two cases, two rods at the same time. So I have been talking about this game as of late because I was curious. I watched Landy Kid play it. I also saw a kick to the head, and I think actually uh, Daggerwind checked it out as well. So I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, as you are probably aware, I've been into fishing the last little while. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you what this game looks like. It's uh, I know it's not going to be for everybody, but it definitely will be for a couple people just because they like fishing. Um, I think it's actually a cool way of learning a little bit about fishing uh, if you've never had a chance to go out and uh, go fishing itself. Uh, for example, if you put the wrong type of line, I think I can do it. So let's say here's my setup. I put my line on here. And for that reel, it's fine. But hey, let's try out for this one. Same thing. So if you, sometimes what will happen is if you put the wrong type of line on a, diff, a certain type of reel, you actually get a error saying, hey, be careful. Don't, um, don't do that. It may cause damage. Also, it gives you an idea of the type of material you need to use. So for example, this is a 150 yard, te two pound test. So it's basically for small fish and some small bass, basically. You can't really... Um, you couldn't do a, cr a crazy amount with it, uh, but it does allow you to catch some of the smaller fish in the starting early game. So let's go ahead and get some fishing done. So I'm going to choose this last Songs of Summer area. Let's go fishing there. Now one of the things I did notice is that there is a bit of a loading time. And as you can see, it depends on your computer. Some computers will probably be faster than others. Uh, so all you need to do is walk up to the area that you want to fish in and your rod automatically comes out. So if you want to see all the different uh, indications as to what you could actually do, um, that is how you do it. You just press F1 and it brings up all this information right here. So anyways, I'm gonna cast it out there. Uh, I've been led to believe that this area right in front of me, right here, is a good area to fish in. So we're gonna go ahead and fish right in there. So unfortunately, it is exactly like real fishing because it is supposed to be a fishing simulator. So given that fact, you do end up waiting for fish from time to time. So I only have a bobber set up at the moment, so I can't really do much with it for the time being. But uh, you do get a chance to upgrade eventually as well, so that's kind of cool. And you can upgrade the different types of lure. You can actually get lures. Uh, you can get different types of baits. Right now I'm using red worms with a hook size of six, which is kind of a small size hook actually. Um, for example, some of the some of the fish I've been catching lately have been on a what they call a five aught, which is like a it's about this big, maybe I don't know something along those lines. It's a special fancy type of hook. It's a gamma gamma suka or something like that. Um, but super super sharp. Oh, there's a fish right there. Nice. Uh, it's bluegill, eight inches. You get one experience point for that, which is that, and it's 0.45 pounds. So the idea here is you want to keep as many of these fish as you possibly can because you get experience based on, or you get money, I should say, based on that. That's what you want to do. Uh, so that's how the game kind of works. It's really, uh, it's really simple. 
Uh, as you can see, I only have a bobber setup at the time being, so I'm playing this old game. Uh, played done this many times in real life before. Um, it's a lot of fun actually. If you've never been out fishing before, I definitely recommend trying like a little float setup like this. It's a lot of fun. Whether you're in England or United States, uh, get some worms. You can just dig them up. You, you don't even need to go and purchase them. You can just dig them up and put them on a hook and you'll be bound to catch fish. It's pretty fun actually. I definitely recommend it. Um, one of the easiest ways to get into it. So let me tell you a little bit of a... Oh, 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 is that another hook? Yeah, we just got another fish. What do we got here? Oh, oh, oh. Better lower the tip there a little bit. Yeesh. Ooh, got a bluegill. Nice. So you do lose your bait every single time you uh, you catch a fish, basically, which is a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? So, anyways, I took my uh, my nephew-in-law, I guess, out fishing a while back, and uh, he's only like seven. And now every time I see him, he's like, "Hey, Uncle Ian, do you want to go fishing? Do you want to go fishing?" It's really funny. Uh, I only did—I only took him out for a short amount of time too, but uh, he really enjoyed himself. I guess no one's ever taken him fishing before, so he lives on a farm, so he's seen all the farm side of things, but never been fishing. So he really enjoyed himself. So all we did was this exact type of fishing, float fishing. He had um, a small little rod that he already had, and he—I uh, put a small hook on him, and he caught. Oh, got another fish! Nice. What do we got here? I don't know. I was always taught when I was younger to keep the tip of the rod up. So that's what I end up doing all the time in this game as well. Another bluegill. So what I'm actually trying to catch is uh, pay attention to the weather. If the sky is clear, fast forward to 8 a.m. the sky is overclass, try 10 a.m. So there you go. I got the tips turned on still. Cast your tackle near the reeds to the left bank. Don't forget. Anyways, you can do... Uh, let's try their suggestion. What are we at? 5 a.m. So let's advance time two hours. So, uh, you can, there's lots of different things you can do in this game. In real life, you actually have to wait it out. You can't just fast forward time. So here we are at 7 a.m. Uh, you can do like a fancy ca cast where you um, uh, where you actually aim a bit more, and I'll show you that in a second. But it's uh, it's fairly simple and straightforward. I'll just do this this way. Reel that sucker in again. All right, so here we go. It's just instead of it being a left click, it's a right click, and then you can kind of aim where you want to cast. So I want to cast right here where the fish are. So then on the right hand side of the screen there, it shows you where you have to get your your cast, I guess. Or I don't know how to describe it. It's like a meter that goes up and down. And you just click the button when you hear you're in the in between the two lines basically. That's all it is. Uh, fairly simple. Uh, but I've been told this is where the bass are, and I was catching some bass here the other night on this little section of land here. Actually, I, I went fishing yesterday, and I caught a couple nice bass, actually. I like a one and a half pound, something like that, and a little small fish. I uh, caught the first one on a buzz bait, which is kind of like a lure that goes like, makes like a clacking sound on top of the, uh, the water. And then I caught the other one on a spinner bait. Uh, both of them were the same color. They were chartreuse, which is like green, essentially. Like a light green color, and uh, caught them both on that color. Another one was a spinner bait, and then the, the spinner bait was like probably what time was it? I would say it's probably around ten o'clock. I think is when I caught that fish. It was a pretty good fish actually. And there was somebody behind me. It was really strange. Someone like was walking behind me because where I go fishing normally, ah, it was too early. Um, normally I go fishing normally. There's a it's like a really busy pathway area. So some guy behind me was like good job for putting it back sort of thing and I was like oh thanks so I, 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 I practice catch and release I don't uh, I eat fish I just don't want to eat fish from the city basically is what it boils down to so anyways I just thought I'd show what this game was like I'm just babbling on and out on now about fishing uh, definitely check it out it's uh, on Steam it's a free game it's a freemium game I should say uh, it's a lot of fun. It gives you a good, a good indication of what it's like. It's not exactly like real fishing. Like, for example, they have a little indicator on the screen showing you, you know, how much fish, like how much uh, your bobber's moving sort of thing. Like, in real life, you don't have that, obviously. You can only just watch your bobber. But I find the bobbers are a bit difficult to... Uh, it's I don't know. It just seems a bit strange uh, in comparison to real life a little bit. So... I have the bobber set up so it's actually the largest it can go just so I can see it better. So, but it works. Oh, yeah, there we go. What do we got? Bluegill? 
Ooh, young largemouth bass. There you go. Nice. You get six experience for that. 11 point, 11 point one inch, 0.7 pounds. Pretty good there. Anyways, folks, uh, that'll be it for me for today. Uh, that's Fishing Planets on Steam. It's free. Check it out. And um, I'm also, it's a multiplayer game as well, so it's kind of cool. So you can play it with your friends and uh, anybody else who's playing the game, basically. So anyways, folks, that's it for me for today. My name is Ian Robson. This has been Fishing Planet. Catch you guys later.